So we're here today on Tampa Convention Center's beautiful waterfront and we're talking to Josh Doring, one of our newest partners in bringing visitors down to Tampa's waterfront. So Josh, why don't you tell me a little bit about your uh, new venture here? Good morning, Eric. This is a, uh, a fleet of electric boats that we're trying to help activate the downtown waterfront with. These boats uh, are 100% electric, which the key factors there make them quiet, safe, friendly. These boats cruise around at five or six miles an hour, so really easy whether it's uh, family outings, business trips, uh, friends getting together to, to go out and bounce around and, and see some of the restaurants. We feel like what we're bringing to the market is the, the safest, most environmentally friendly, uh, really a, a, the best way to see downtown from the water. And love the opportunity to be based right here at the convention center. Well, we absolutely love having you in our efforts to try and really develop the waterfront. Uh, you being our first tenant, we're really looking forward to the future. So why don't we stop talking and why don't we get on one of these things and let's see how they operate. Let's do it. Okay, so now that we're uh, on the boat, we've, we've actually uh, picked up a designated driver. We've got the uh, husband and wife team, so we've picked up Andrea. And um, tell me a little bit about how this thing operates. It seems pretty easy. Well, again, the first thing that I noticed, the, my, my first opportunity to get a ride on one of these electric boats, we get on the boat, somebody pushes it off, and the boat started pulling away from the dock, and I had to stop and catch myself when I realized there was no engine noise, no fumes no yeah. vibration so that's the first thing that most folks notice that's different is just the quietness which which really adds to that ability to be able to be out here and socialize be comfortable be quiet mm -hmm. from what people are telling us there's not a better way to see this city than from right here cruising on the water are you able to go out at night and see the how the waterfronts lit up with all the new lights on the bridges and all we, the buildings we couldn't have been more lucky with uh, one as mayor buckhorn came into office and, and really helped focus the city on the river being the center point of our city mm -hmm. not not a boundary point uh, so that was was huge for us and, and the attention has been amazing when the sun goes down and there's some music playing on the stereo it's like a Disneyland ride and people get off of this boat and they've just they've experienced something that they didn't even realize could be experienced here in Tampa. So kind of like it's a small world Tampa style. <laughs> Absolutely. It looks pretty easy to operate. Um, is it when you rent it, do you rent it with a, a driver or can you drive it yourself? It's a good question. I appreciate it. Um, we, we've created some great little maps and mm -hmm. part of our orientation process, whenever ever anybody rents one of our boats, they do have an option. We rent them by the hour. Um, guests can rent them and take them out on their own. We go through a 15 minute orientation. We sit down, we go over a map, we show them where all the safety equipment is on the boat, figure out how to help them get the most out of their time on the water. Um, if someone's not as comfortable with that, we mm -hmm. can put a guide on mm -hmm. the boat for folks. We do that at an additional cost. That takes some of that pressure off of, of somebody who wants to just get out here and mm -hmm. maybe sit back and relax a little bit more that, that doesn't want to take sort of their, their time and their adventure into their own hands. During the day, really, you could probably go as far as two hours up the river, okay. and it's just a gorgeous, fun ride through the neighborhoods, and it gets quite a bit more green, uh, a lot of homes. Um, you can also get out and go out off of Bay Shore a little bit, out around Davis Island, so it gives people an opportunity to, to see the some of the gorgeous homes that are on Bay Shore, Davis Island, Harbor Island. Sure. So we really do have a, a few nice areas to explore, and one, one of the big points is we really are going to be lobbying for more safe, soft, floating docks places mm -hmm. for people to stop and enjoy themselves. Right now, we do have a dock and people can stop here at Curtis Hickson Park. Mm -hmm. We've got the museums, the park's amazing. We were out here last night at uh, Rock the Park. It's okay. an awesome way to spend an evening. We cruise down here for half an hour under the lighted bridges, dock the boat, go enjoy some music at the park, cruise on home, and that's a two or a three hour evening out here. Yeah. Um, I'd love to see a floating dock here at Curtis Hickson uh -huh. at some point. Um, with all the development going up the, at the north end of the river, that's what we're really excited about. Right. When uh, when Richard Gonsmart and the city work on their developments up there, I'm sure we'll have some floating docks that get put in along with that restaurant. We've got some floating docks. The, the, the best current locations, uh, one of the best stops people love is hopping on the boats down here and spending a, going and getting some food or drinks down at Rick's on the yeah, River. On it's river. a really friendly, easy stop. They yeah. love seeing folks up there. Uh, one of the other real nice, easy stops right now is right on Harbor Island. Mm -hmm. uh, Post offers some nice floating docks, and those are accessible to guests at any time. Mm -hmm. Stop in. Uh, there's a little uh, market there, uh, Cafe Dufresne. Uh, there's coffee shop. There's some great little options there to pop off the boat and experience some stuff there as well. So there are some great stops right now. 
we look forward to being a part of helping activate things so that we can get more of those stops sure. and, and get even more out here for people to be able to enjoy. So as, as we continue to move up the river, what, um, what kind of plans do you have for the future? We see good things for the future. Um, one of the things that we liked about this opportunity is the ability to scale it mm -hmm. and the ability to, to, to grow with the market. Um, so we do have some, some other vessels we're looking at that I think will help us reach complementary markets. But really, at, at the market and our level of business is going to dictate how we grow this. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're poised and prepared to add boats as soon as the market tells us it's ready mm -hmm. to keep more boats busy. And we're the, the pressure, the, 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 what we're already feeling after only a couple of weeks in business here, uh, feeling pretty strongly that we're going to be popping those new boats pretty soon. All right, so for Spotlight Tampa, I'm Eric Blanc, and I'd like to thank Josh Doran for uh, spending some time with us today. eBoatsTampa. eBoatsTampa.com. All right, thanks, Josh. Thanks, Eric.